this is my new fireside chat. <laughs> no fireplace, but a chat. I'm Pat Sloan, and because tomorrow is Friday, and I was going to try to do these on Friday afternoons, but I will be in Lynchburg, Virginia, doing a talk on Friday afternoon. So if you're on Facebook, you know, watch along because. I'll send some pictures, I'm going to be visiting a quilt shop, and then I teach the next day, and I'm going to be at another quilt shop, and it'll be with a lot of fun quilters. So I'll do a, a few photos up there to show you what I'm doing. So I wanted to recap a few things, because I did the Merry and Bright this week, and a few people, not that many, but one or two of you um, might not have read the first page of directions and somehow got yourself confused. So I just want to show you the block and show you the pattern uh, because it's all it is, is half square triangles and sew and flip, which you do a lot of. You do those all the time. So the block is uh, mistletoe. So fun. So here, this is, this is a half square triangle. Wherever the dark and light is, is a half square triangle. And here where the sew and flip is, is a half square triangle, and then the red makes the start points. That's the sew and flip. So this unit is something you work with all the time. Half square triangle, right? The black and the white. Black and the white, whoops, I'm not out of the picture. Black and the white is half square triangle, and then black and white with the sew and flip here. So the directions, we're gonna look at this. Because the page one here is where you do all, in my case, black and white half square triangles. So I think this is a step people aren't reading or, or doing because somehow you're getting confused. These get trimmed to three and a half but they start bigger. They start with four inch squares, you're making two at a time. It's normal, it's what you do all the time. Then the second page are, is the sew and flip. You take that same half square triangle and then you're putting the red corner, in my case is a red corner, and then you're sewing along the line, flipping it over to get this unit, which makes the star points. So here is a star point unit and right next to it is one without a star point. So they're the same block, half square triangles, black and white. And then the, you have the center block, which is also three and a half. This is a nine inch finished block. So you have um, three, 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 which equals nine. So they're three and a half, three and a half, three and a half. So, okay, we got it, right? That's good, because we all want to be on track and making uh, Mickey mistletoe blocks. None of this craziness that there's, uh, it's confusing, it's easy, it's half square triangles and so on flip. You do it all the time. Okay, the other thing today, this is a busy week and I'm sorry I, I sent like lots of posts. I did lots of posts, seems like everything had to be shared this week, of course. Uh, and uh, so today is, uh, Carolyn McMillan of uh, Adorn It. She designed this flower child block for us. Is this the most darling, darling, darling flower block? This is for the Splendid Sampler. And I fussy cut uh, so that the stripes would go out like this. I am in love with this block, just love it. Also today, because why not, I did, I'm doing my crazy Halloween uh, you know, series for Fabulous Fabric and so using has square triangles. This is a table runner today that you can uh, do free pattern. And let me show you the quilting because I did a tutorial about eight million years ago on bubble quilting. So here it is, here are the bubbles. And I have that tutorial on the link. It's old. Uh, an old tutorial, but it works, you do them exactly the same. So nothing has changed. So this is out there today, and I want you to be able to uh, to do that project. There's also, I'll put a link because there's some Halloween fabric on sale for this week. Um, you know, because it's getting close to Halloween, so you get good deals on picking it up. Lucky us, yay! What else? My, there, I This week I was, I'm honored beyond honor, honored to be 
part of Nancy Zeman Productions' uh, blog tour, book tour rather, uh, for um, the book that Nancy's husband wrote about the last few years of her life. It is a memoir. It is um, inspirational. It is amazing. She was an amazing woman. I got to hear her speak for the last time in public um, at a baby lock event. And so that was, um, you know, a, a year ago last last you know a year ago june like you know 18 months now or whatever whatever the count is but this uh you can uh enter to win a copy from me a copy from nancy zeman productions her husband rich is wrote just um a wonderful journal it's, it's like a journal it's a journal of what went on and how gracefully she handled everything. And I know many, many, many of you watched Nancy's programs over the years and were inspired and learned and, and just she was the person you would watch and, and learn to sew from. She did all kinds of sewing. Uh, quilting was just one tiny piece of, of what she did. So that is the sort of mega stuff that went on this week. I had uh, uh, my, my podcast was super fun. The guests were great. Okay, so I'll tell you behind the scenes. On the podcast, uh, we were out of power. Our station was out of power. And so we were doing everything on the phone, and it was sort of juggling a little bit more than I usually juggle things <laughs> because uh, they, they didn't have any power, so we couldn't do our regular process. So, But the show went on, the show went on, and, and you can uh, watch that. I'll put all the links here so you can see everything. Okay, last thing, because tomorrow I go out of town for a couple days to teach, but this came in the mail because I decided every year I get the, the quilt planner. And uh, Stephanie Palmer does an amazing job with her quilt planner. And today, my next quilt planner came. And this year, she has these really cool boxes, see, that you can store them in. She has two covers for the quilt planner. And I am so excited because this year, I'm going to sew things from the planner besides do some tracking. I use it, you know, to be honest, I use it a little bit sporadically in the beginning, but I've really come to love uh, the format and being able to make notes. And then this is really cool to be able to store it like this. So I am going to just quickly, let's, I'm going to open this up. Okay. You want to see, let's come down here and I am going to show you what's in here happy mail day ta-da she does a beautiful job packaging so this i got like a she had like this bonus thing if you order some people got this so she sent me one i got one and then a little info page now the planner i got the set that comes with everything so i have I, oh this is the floral one there's two covers so this is the floral cover so here it is, ta-da, and let me push that over there. So the quilt planner has all these amazing tabs, like for February then, you can, I'm going to show you a lot more pictures as we go along, but there's photos and inspiration and places to do sketches and tracking, and then towards the back, there are patterns and more patterns. There's uh, a whole group of designers that created for this issue, which are some of my favorite, favorite people in the world. And then here is like more tracking stuff. Plus, not only do you get that, but you get a magazine. And so the magazine has uh, all the additional directions too, for the quilt projects. So this has to be one of my favorites here by Yvonne um, Fouche, who is the quilting jet girl. I just love this piece and she's an amazing photographer. So now this has been my week. It's been crazy. It's Thursday. I'm going to post this up here. I'm Pat Sloan. Check out all the links. And if you have questions, leave them. Uh, this is my Thursday edition of the fireside chat and I will see you online.